Welcome back everyone to the second episode of our Banner Lord journey. Last time we started off the main quest, we got over to Sargot, we fought a few bandits, sold some of the loot, we got some money, and today we will continue on our quest to establish ourselves as a clan. So what that means, we're gonna get some more recruits and we're gonna look for more bandit battles so we can get a bunch of renown. Also, if we can get uh, some quests that will also help with renown. So let's visit these uh, other Vlandian vi villages. There we go, we can get some recruits. So last time, I uh, didn't really cut much of the video. I left most of it in because it's the first episode. I explained a bunch of stuff, how the game works. From now on though, I think I'm going to start Cutting some of the middle parts, like this traveling for example, between battles, between anything interesting happening. So we'll see how much I'm gonna cut. Maybe the more we progress in the game, the more I'm gonna cut out of it. But for now I'm still gonna keep most of the game playing. Okay, so now we have 19 troops. We can... I still don't really wanna do the escorting of the merchant caravan. It's really risky. Not, not sure how many bandits exactly we're gonna have to fight. I'm gonna go into the Tavern District. Okay, so we have a companion here, let's see. Do we know? Not really sure what uh, this modifier means as for stats. I'm gonna look for a companion that's either a healer, maybe a steward. Oh, there we go. We got the level, so leveling up. Oh, we need to get food. I'm gonna buy food from here. Anyway, so leveling up over here, you can see we have two different points. Uh, I think it's every three levels, no, every four levels. You get one of these points and you can use them to increase your primary stats. And these points over here, uh, you can use them in the secondary skills. So, okay, what do we want? We want stewardship. This helps us uh, have a larger army. So it's pretty important. Also, leadership uh, helps with morale. But I think our morale is fine, so... What do we want to increase? I mean, Polar I'm already has to, so that's good. Riding is good. We don't really need tactics yet. Scouting is nice, gives you more movement speed with some of the perks you can get from leveling it. I think I'm gonna go two points in stewardship, so we can increase our party size faster. That helps with a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna click down. That's our leveling up process. Now let's see. Bandit base. Okay, that's a quest you can definitely do. So, same as Warband. There are bandit hideouts. Yeah, there it is. That spawn around the map. And uh, you enter into a mission. Clear them out. So, we're gonna talk to this guy. Peace to you, stranger. What is your name? Okay, let's just introduce ourselves. Okay, he's gonna tell us who he is, pretty much default for every notable, and we're gonna take the quest from him, so yeah, he's the bandit base, it's causing them trouble, so we're just gonna get the quest. Uh, later on, when you have companions, you also have the option to send them on the mission, but uh, for now, we're just gonna take the mission ourselves. Now. Since the hideout is already here, I'm just gonna go to this town to buy food, and then... Oh, there we go. We're already starving. Yeah, okay. Quickly. Let's get some food. Okay. So, we're gonna scroll down to the food section. There we go. So, wow, grain is expensive. Alright, we can buy some olives, I guess. Let's buy, maybe, three barrels of olives. Why not? Let's get though, everything else is pretty expensive. We're gonna get a bit of fish, but that should be good enough for now. Now that we have food, we're no longer starving, the morale should recover. We're gonna go to the hideout and we're gonna attempt to take over it. Now I don't exactly have good gear on me. I'm gonna rely a bit more on our troops. I'm not sure. Yeah, I do have a sword, so that should be good. Uh, later on, uh, I'm gonna run spear, shield, bow and arrow, so I'm gonna have to remember to get equip a sword. 
when fighting bandits or the hideouts. Now, you can't directly attack it if it's daytime. You have to wait until nightfall. You're just gonna skip time. And there we go. This is gonna be our first hideout attack. So, we get to choose. Okay, I'm a little damaged, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We get to choose which troops come with us. I mean, that's that's a good selection. Not gonna mess with it. Just gonna select done. And I think they changed the way the hideouts work in the full release of the game. So might be new to me. Let's see. There we go. We're in the battle. So okay, now that that seems pretty similar. I think they only changed the C Raider one. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna charge straight in. Not too much strategy needed. In in the early game, the hideouts don't have that many bandits in them. So okay, I don't think there's anyone here. Just safely pass through it. Now since uh, my athletic skill is really low, I'm gonna move slower than my troops. That should be fine. Also, when I was uh, checking the video last time, I noticed that the music in the game was a bit too loud. There we go, nice, got killed. So I have lowered it this time. Hopefully it's better. Not sure if I should lower the in-game sounds though. I mean, they can be loud when people are screaming, fighting, but I mean, that's part of the spirit of the game. There we go. And engage these two. We should have no problem killing them. Not numbered them greatly. There we go. Very nice. And is there more over here? I don't think so. Okay, they're going straight to there. So, the way the hideouts work is uh, you can see on the top uh, there is a bar. So, on the left side, the black part, that's my army. On the right side, that's the army of the bandits. You can see half of it is gone. So at the end, after we kill each of the small bandit groups, the bandit boss will appear. And we have two options. One of our options is to just, you know, engage. He's gonna come with a bunch more bandits. And we just fight them off. Or we can uh, challenge him into a duel. So we fight one on one. It's good uh, if you don't want to risk any of your troops getting killed. Of course, you have to be confident that you can actually beat him, because otherwise you lose the fight. That's pretty nasty. But I think I should be fine. I mean, I don't have very high skills, but one on one I should be fine fighting a bandit leader. Okay, there we go. So he should appear anywhere. Okay, there, there he is. Just... Uh, Normal sword and shield guy, has some javelins. However, we will fight short range, so shouldn't be able to use them. Okay. Yeah, so he has some dialogue and he's challenging us to a 1v1. So we will take it. And we're gonna fight it. Okay, got first hit. There we go. Very nice. We'll kick him. Okay, should be one more. There we go, we got him. Now, and we don't have to fight these guys, they will just surrender. And we lost one trained infantry. But we got a hideout, it should be a bunch of loot, we got renown, we got morale. Hideouts are really nice to do, because they also increase your reputation with all the notables around. Since you're reading, reading them of bandits. I'm just gonna get all the prisoners, we have the space. And I think we can directly go into upgrading our troops. Uh, yeah, I think we're safe. Should have enough gold. There we go, we get a better archer. And we get to upgrade these guys. Okay. It's gonna cost us 200. That, that's fine. Okay, and here's the loot. Like, this is what I mean. Like, this is a lot of gold. Now, this, this is something new in the release version of the game. They added banners, you know, banner lord, banners. Makes sense. Now banners, you can equip them on, I believe, companions and put those companions in a... They lead a different formation. So, for example, right now we only have infantry and we have one archer. So the archer is a formation on its own. So you can put one of your companions, for example, to lead your infantry. You can equip a banner on them. Here we got an upgrade there. You can equip a banner on them and that banner is going to give uh, different buffs. So this one increases the damage they take. 
So if we get a companion soon, we can put him in charge of the infantry, give him the banner, and he's gonna build them. This is not an upgrade, I think we should be good. The jagged spear. Don't have hand armor. There we go. It's an upgrade. We're done. And there we go, we completed our quest, we got some renown, my charm skill upgraded. You get charm skill from increasing the relationship with different people. And we also got a bunch of gold as a reward for the quest. So now we already have enough money, that's nice. The most difficult part of this quest is getting this renown. So I think I'm gonna start cutting and finding different groups of bandits and I can attack them and just resume the battles there and also if I find any interesting quests I can also show it to you but for now I'm just gonna cut so see you when I fight someone to fight oh wait I guess we can fight these guys so that's convenient we're just armless shepherds oh he's trying to trick me okay so we're gonna fight them and uh yeah let's get to battle Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing we did last time, to avoid losing many troops. I'm gonna send them charging directly though. Oh, they have a leader. Okay. Can I take you out? The javelins are really nasty. Since uh, there is like physics of the throw. Okay. Guess I'm gonna have to help them out. So for example, as I'm running towards them, if they throw a javelin, it's gonna do more damage. Because I'm moving towards the javelin. So it's getting a good speed multiplier. So javelins are really deadly against cavalry. You really gotta be careful. You can be wearing the best endgame armor and still get almost one shot by a javelin. Especially if it's a noble that has a good javelin skill. I think this guy is just gonna retreat. Oh no, he's coming up. Okay. Okay, he blocked our shot. Alright. Got me. My horse anyway. Can we take you out? I really need to get a better horse. This one really sucks. Oh it's a really bad to maneuver I can't turn properly. And be the sword. You know our guys are coming anyway, I can take him out. But I was hoping to get him myself. Get some levels so we can improve our character. Man, he's tough. Not going that easily. Is he running now? No, no, he's coming back. Okay. He's gonna keep his shield up, huh? Man, this horse is slow. Come over here. Cannot escape. I'm gonna get all your loot. Yeah, I can't tell if he's running. What is he doing? He's engaging again. Okay. Locked it. Again. The guys can't really catch up to him. He's too fast. And my horse is also too slow. So I can't catch up to him either. Come on. Maybe I can just... Oh, that was a bad miss. Maybe I can take out his horse. I mean, that's one way to do it. If I can't catch him. But yeah, next time I'm visiting a town, I'm looking for a better horse. This one is just terrible. I mean, I also need riding skill so to use better horses. Oh, that was close. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, they got nice. Okay, so we should get some good loot from this fight. We lost two people. It's two recruits, not too terrible. We have more money, so we can freely upgrade. We're gonna get some footmen. Yeah, sure, let's get some arch uh, or crossbowmen, so we have some ranged troops. Legionary, okay, that's pretty nice. Getting a bit more costly, but that's fine. We don't get the prisoners. Sell them when we get to the next town. Okay, that's a lot of loot. Oh, these are nice. That's a good upgrade. Let's see, we have... Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that, that's much better. Okay, and it looks better as well. I like it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that's better than what I have. 
So yeah, this... Oh yeah, they have fish. That's nice. Okay. We're gonna get everything. We're, we're gonna sell it. Next time we get... Or when we get to Galant, this town. That's where we're going. Need to recruit more troops as well. Since we lost some. That should put me at 20. There we go. That part of the quest is also complete. Now all we have to do is get companion. Which I hope to get here. And the rest is farming renown. Which I'm probably gonna do a bunch of cuts through. Port merchant caravan. Man, I mean, I guess we could try it. But I need a better horse. So let's check the market. There we go. This one is... I mean, it has less health. But everything else is much better. We're just gonna get this horse. And we're going to sell all this garbage. I'm not sure if I sold our food. Let's see. No, doesn't seem like it. Okay, nice. I'm just gonna sell all this. I'm gonna equip the better horse. And I'm gonna keep this horse because uh, when you keep mounts in your inventory, first of all, they increase the amount of weight you can carry, so the amount of different items. Also, if you have footmen, they can ride on the horses while you're traveling, so it increases your map movement speed. You can see we have plus zero one from cavalry. Okay, so we're gonna sell all of that and probably get some food. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, fish is much cheaper here. I'll get a bunch of fish, olives, some meat. Why not? Let's get some butter. Okay. Now let's visit the tavern. Hopefully we can find someone. Okay, black tooth. Okay, let, let's see this guy. Peace to you, stranger. Though, if you come any closer, I may stick a knife in your belly. Okay, he's fighting. one cannot be too careful these days. Let's see, let's introduce ourselves. There we go. Oh, and he's gonna tell us his story. Okay. Okay, so he was in the Empire. Oh, so he was like a bandit, I guess. Stopping merchants. Yeah. Okay. What happened then? Oh, he fell for a girl. I see. Alright. Okay, so I guess he maybe... Try to kill someone from what I'm picking up. There we go. They went on a date. Oh, so that's how he got caught. I see. Okay. Now oh, and then he escaped. Alright then. I mean, do we really want a bandit as a companion? I think I'm gonna skip on this guy. We're gonna look for someone better. Okay, so I'm just gonna run some more prisoners as a start. I'm just gonna start visiting around settlements. If anything interesting happens, I'm gonna cut back in. Okay, so speaking of something interesting happening, I came to this village and I decided to check the troops that are able to uh, able to be recruited. And these are the Vlandian squares. They turned into the best Vlandian mounted unit, the Banner Knight. So I want to get them, but I don't have a space, so I'm gonna go into the party screen after the save is complete. And I think we're just gonna let some of the recruits go. There we go. Make up some space. And we're gonna recruit the squires. So, I mean, they're a bit more expensive, right? But they're mounted, so it makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna cut again. Let's see what else happens. Okay, so I found a small party of sea raiders. These are probably the the best tier of bandits. So let's quickly dispatch them. Get them hell! Gonna get you. Going down. Oh, that was nasty. Comes nothing. Okay. Okay, so I finally found a quest that we can take. This guy he needs help with bandits, basically. I, We're just gonna take I this don't quest. Think I know you. Let's introduce ourselves. There we go. Need help with a problem. And yeah, he's had problems with bandits recently. And he's gonna ask us to turn down two bands of bandits that are roaming around the map, around this area. 
So we're just gonna take this quest. And I'm gonna look for some bandits. There we go. Found our first group. Yeah. 14 looters. So let's dispatch them quickly. You are going down. Almost. Okay. I'm, I still don't have enough damage to one-shot them. Ooh, that was a clean kill. I think we're gonna finish them up here. Be the last one. There we go. Well, would you look at that? This guy needs help with a bandit base. I, I don't know how this goes. We're just gonna get the quest. And this should point out the bandit base. Yes. Yeah, so these are sea raiders. Now these guys are tougher. So it won't be as easy to take over their hideout but we should be fine now that i arrived here i can see there are five groups of sea raiders that are staying in the hideout currently so i don't think it's a great idea to attack it while they are still in there so i'm just gonna run around a bit more and revisit it later when it's a bit more empty there we go i found a nice group of bandits we can attack let's take them out really quickly complete our quest oh is he faster than me no way not faster than me. Okay, so oh, another group of looters joined. Okay, so we're outnumbered this battle. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is the strategy screen at the start of the battle when you have more formations. So since there are more than us, let's use some strategy. We're gonna put our infantry here, and we're gonna put them in the shield wall. We're gonna put our archers behind them over here. And I'm probably gonna get the riders with me. Horsemen! Stay close! So they're just gonna follow me and we'll see if we can pick off any raiders. Alright, I see them approaching. If shields and stuff. I mean we can take out the looters with our cavalry. Since they don't really have shields. Okay, they're going straight for me. So maybe we can lead them around a bit. So, some of them can go towards our main force and some can get distracted by me and the cavalry. Now, hopefully my cavalry doesn't die because they are really expensive. Just gonna attempt a really quick charge the looters as they don't push it. That's not looters. Can I take them? Yeah. It's some nice damage. Thing. I'm just gonna put my cavalry here for now and when they get near my infantry I'm just gonna send them in for now I'm just gonna go around and get their attention they split up a bit okay let's send in the cavalry to reinforce the infantry we're gonna charge with the infantry as well we're gonna try and take out some of them ourselves nice leveled up Get over here. Oh, nice. Let's help out our front line. There we go. It's a nice stop. And this guy should go. Oh, I missed. Okay, this guy though. Okay, I missed again. They're going down. And we've routed them, so these guys are just running. I'm gonna try and pick them off for XP. But we've won the battle. Their morale is broken, so they're just running. That's what happens when you don't have good leadership and morale drops too much. So you really wanna avoid this. Because the enemy is just gonna get 3 kills. And there we go, we've officially won. This should be some really good loot. Now we did lose 5 people though, since those were sea raiders and they outnumbered us. So we lost 4 infantry and one of our archers. But that's fine, we can just recruit more. I got a bunch of prisoners. We don't really have space for all of them, so we're gonna get the more expensive ones. We're gonna release some of the looters. And then we're gonna upgrade swordsman and to some crossbowmen there we go i'm gonna upgrade this guy to an archer 
And I think that's about it. Okay, we're done. Let's check out the loot. Okay, these are really nice boots. I want them. There we go. How about the shirt? Garbage. Got some food. I don't think there's anything else. Judging by the value of it. So we're just gonna take all of that. Oh, I'm actually at my weight capacity. I really want to get the food. So let's drop something we don't need. Like, what's cheap? Some of these hats, maybe? They don't really weigh much, do they? Alright, I guess I'll have to leave the grain then. That's fine. Can just buy more of it in town. And... With this, we have completed our mission. We're gonna get some money, we're gonna get some reputation. And we also leveled up, so let's check this one. Okay, this time, I also have an attribute point. I'm gonna put it towards intelligence. Because it's a really nice early game to increase stewardship, medicine. What medicine does, is it makes it more likely when one of your troops gets killed, for it to just get wounded instead of completely dying. Okay, so I'm gonna increase my leadership with one. And over here you can see every 25 levels of those skills, you get to choose a perk. So the perk we want, we have a choice between cavalry, which is gonna increase my damage with pole arms when mounted. And also increase the damage of uh, my cavalry units. The other option is pikemen, which is for infantry all arm users. I'm gonna pick cavalry. And that's gonna be our level up for this time. Now, I think we're gonna leave the hideout for next episode because this one is getting a bit longer. As I said, I don't want to make them too long. So next time we're gonna clear out that hideout and we should finish off the quest. We should get enough renown next time. We're also gonna look for a companion. And with that, we'll be able to start searching for our lost family. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.